Hey Aquarius, happy summer solstice. I hope that the spring has been good to you, that you are feeling good when you're watching this video, okay? And I hope that this offers you something insightful. So for your energy, the song that came up for you guys was... Um, it's a song by Joe Hertz. It's called, I don't know the title of it. Let me see. But it goes, if you want to change me, watch me because I do what I do. And if you want to play it for you. Um, so thank nobody playing please. You think it's all about you. There's no other words in between there. But he's basically talking about like he can't change who he is. He he can only be him, right? And uh, very Aquarian in in nature. Um, very just you know, autonomous, can't, you can't change my mind kind of energy. Uh, you know, this is who I am. Let me see. I'm trying to find out when his birthday was because I have no clue. Mm. Yep, I'm not reading all of that. Well, we're not going to sit here and um, <laughs> search for this. I don't know when his birthday is. I'm sure I'll come across it later and it'll make sense. Um, you know how sometimes those artists don't be having, they don't be having Wikipedia pages on them. He's one of them. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, I'm not even sure, because I just learned about him this year, so yes, there's that, but um, just, it, you might need to be needing to stand, stand your ground this this season, in a sense, um, really just um, being direct about what it is that you want, and but also recognizing people who are trying to, I don't want to say, like kind of get, take advantage of you, get over on you, um, right? Because Aquarius, y'all can be very giving people, very selfless people, um, and just, you know, uh, for the all. And people see that and sometimes uh, attempt to take advantage of it because y'all will show up for people. On the other end, y'all won't, <laughs> right? But it take y'all to be done, done with something. So the energy that came up for y'all is Neptune and Pisces in the third house. Very interesting. Um, so you may be creating the reality of your dreams, okay? Very similar to um, Capricorn yesterday, but this is more along the lines about communication and relations and, and connection with others, okay? And this is also about your family as well. You may be healing some karma in regards to that, especially along the lines of things that have been hidden from you of how um, how you have been perceiving things. You may have been seeing things from a kind of like a, an elusive way, or you may have just not been able to figure something out out of not having all the details, not having all of the workings of it, but that is coming forward for you this summer. Your knowing is heightening significantly you are about to be able to see how all things are kind of put together, but it's also going to provide you like this very unconditional standpoint of perception, of perspective in regards to others, in regards to yourself as well, um, in regards to your family, your siblings, 
there may be a lot of forgiveness going on here. Um, take care in sacrificing yourself in a way that uh, makes you a martyr, right? That that forces you in a space of um, giving more than what it's worth, right? Because giving is always a beautiful thing, but if you are giving too much um, and it's overextending yourself, it's not healthy at the end of the day, right? It's a good time for you to be near water, near the coast this summer, right? Maybe taking some short trips, um, pay attention to your dreams, a lot of messages coming through there for you, a lot of healing, a lot of answers um, that you have been desiring to have, especially in regards to relationships, to marriage, to um, like steps in which it is that you have to, to are desiring to take. Okay, so if you want somebody to accept you for who you are, you have to accept other people for who they are. Aquarius, y'all are fixed energy, so y'all can be really stuck on how things should be going in a sense, like if it's for the greater good, um, and sometimes that can have y'all aligning to things that are not, not real, that are not actually beneficial for the all, but it have been, has been casted under some uh, illusion that it is, okay, um, right, due to the grand scheme of things, through, due to the, the knowledge it is that they have been given, right, so also, oh, what it is that you thought you known up until this point, what you grew up with is knowing that you've been holding up until this point is shifting. Things are going to be being revealed to you in regards to um, you're coming into a new knowing and take care to who it is that's around you who's trying to manipulate you. That song. Um, I'm just trying to think of the words because there's something significant in there. Oh, I can't tell you what help from the world. And then he goes to say, I can't be who you want. And if you want to change me, watch me because I do what I do. And if you're trying to play with me, Ain't nobody playing but you. <laughs> yeah, so just take care of those who are showing up and attempting to play, right? This may also have to do with relationships, right? Your relationships are coming into your life um, and, and attempting to be on something other than the truth, of, other than reality. Um, this can is I also want to say take care of um, how you may be mesmerized by other people before getting to know them, right? And there may be others who are just very mesmerized by you and in that a desire to possess you and with possession um, comes control, right? So that's something to take care of. But watch where it is that you're trying to escape what it is that needs to be um, grounded into reality, right? It's a good, a good season to focus on getting grounded, right? And walking away from things that no longer serve you, that don't allow you to live an authentic life, right? You have a lot of ideas here this summer, a lot of things that you were desiring to create. This is seven of baskets, but they may be intangible in some sense, out of reach, it's just a need to get clear on things. It's, you have a lot of ancestry energy here. So this is a lot of ancestral patterns being released for you as well, being healed, especially surround love and relationships and marriage, um, but also with how it is that you value yourself and in, in, in your sense of self-worth, right? You may be clouded by improper judgments of yourself right, and uh, you are coming into a space of seeing things much more clearly, feeling much more clearly, um, tapping into your intuition so that you can see the truth in the matter, 
right? So that you can really um, take it for what it is and, and harvest what is yours, right? This, this is water energy, baskets. Baskets are all about harvesting. Um, the cups are, are fall energy. So these things may be coming into fruition in the fall very strongly because we also have we have a lot of scorpio energy here all right we have a lot of fall energy here because we have the ancestors here which is the death card so your perception how you think how you see life is changing significantly like the old is it's gone and something new is here um something lighter something that frees you up from um, showing up how you have been up until this point, but even just how you've been seeing things fully up until this point, you know, and really giving you that leeway to create your reality and the means in which it is that you desire. And this may just be about creation of your reality, right? Because Pisces is all about dreams it's your imagination it's your 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 soul's calling right so what have you come here to do perhaps you were building a business that has been something you have been dreaming of for forever but you have been having to take yourself out of this space of of um seeing things and perceiving things in a way that have not been serving you and being able being able to build this right shifting yourself into a stable foundation a stable sense of self and being very clear in in with that you know let's see what else is here for aquarius spirit you may be also finding it difficult to to express what it is that, that right because things are changing at such a deep level shifting in such a deep level you know you're reconnecting with yourself in the space that you have yet to right so it may be in regards to your relationships um people may be they could be feeling some kind of way out of your inability to uh, fully be able to express yourself granted you may be expressing things from a spiritual level from a more heightened level of perception, being able, it's almost like you are now able to see the forest for the trees. You get it. <laughs> you got the magic fish. So this is about magic as well. I was getting that strongly. Um, you, because the third house and then this Pisces energy is very magician energy, right? And the magic fish, says that um yes the fish are magic but you are the magician right so you are utilizing the spirit of the fish pisces to manifest your reality your dreams from an intangible space right the you are also receiving a just do something it is that you have been putting effort into is about to pay off for you in a very significant way um because when pisces is involved um it's it's big you know Pisces rules the media it, it's a means of control <laughs> the illusion you know so um you are definitely seeing how how much you are in control of your reality and it's important that you move with integrity and intention in what it is that you are desiring, what what causes, what effects you are attempting to cause in your world. What are you trying to manifest? What are you what are you desiring to make happen? Okay. And really letting the the will fall so that you can come out of old cycles that keep you very hindered. You know, it's just time to surrender to what it is that is, is for you to do that you are desiring to do what you want your reality to be and to look like you know what you want your relationships to look like what you want them to feel like more than anything right it's important for you and time for you to be very honest about that 
but strongly this feels a lot like business. Um, you might also be applying for a business loan this summer. Um, and you will, if you do that, you have, if you align yourself with the trust, the faith, and the belief that you will, then you will, right? And this may be what the workings of that, that old mindset that you have been holding on to um, had, it is, is doing for you, that shift in that. You may also be finding yourself relating more to your intimate relationships, your your relationships that you share uh, resources with, um, coming out of any power struggles, especially when it comes to work, right? And it's, it's been all about what it is that you know, right? Because so sometimes we are limited to what is possible based off of the little that we know, right? So this reminds me of this meme. It's this meme of the office and, um, and Steve is when he's younger and the boss is like, uh, here's a congratulations for always showing up and never saying no to anything uh, that's been requested of you. And then the one under Steve is like, um, I never knew I could say no kind of thing. It's that energy, right? It's like you're, you're realizing I control this. I can choose what I wanna do. I can do what it is that I choose to do. So you, for the mermaid, for the fish energy, the sea energy that you have is the hourglass dolphin. And the hourglass dolphin speaks about division, right? So this can speak to separation in relationships um, and not necessarily like divorce or anything like that, but, um, like just recognizing who is for you and who is not um, because it's some karma tied to that that it's time to let go of. But it's also about your health and taking care of yourself and making sure that you're getting enough sleep at night, right? Because also our patterns is, um, in our cycles are what dictate what is possible in manifesting in the world out for us, right? So let's see. The hourglass often denotes that you are just in time for something you wish to achieve. As a reminder of mortality, it expresses the transit, transitory nature of time and experience, the symbolic of eternal return. We suggest that going home early every night to sleep and keeping good hours will persuade cosmic forces to create beneficial opportunities. And ideas germination in the darkness will produce crystallization in the light of day. The cross-shaped spot on the dolphin's flanks intersect two white areas, indicating that you are wise to divide your time. In doing so, you will enjoy the timeless ecstasy expressed by the shade, representing the light of a new day. So you are definitely manifesting um, a new path, a new way of going, a new way of being, you know? And at the bottom here, we have 45, which is the black dolphin. Okay, so you're also going to be being seen as well, especially in regards to um, how it is that you choose to carry yourself, how you share yourself, how you communicate with yourself, how you align to your truth, how you align to truth, right, and in your integrity within all of these things. Okay, and um, just being very uh, like being very respected in a sense, people are going to begin things like right, seeing you for who it is that you truly are, especially with this hourglass dolphin, the eternal return, right? That's coming back to a space of innocence, a space, a soul space, coming back to who it is that you truly are. What else is here? All right. So you got two crystals. The one on the left here is the canvasite. The one on the right here is the kunzite. The so let's see. We're gonna go with this one first. So it says 
Who needs it? Storytellers, soothsayers, healers, therapists, and psychics. Use it when it's time to speak clearly and straight from the heart. When you want to get weird, ask Cam Insight to make, make you a conduit for messages, mysterious and eternal. Eternal again, messages again, love again. All right. And then you have here the Coonsite. And it says, who needs it? Anyone with a heavy heart about something, collectors of good vibrations. Use it when or after a breakup or major disappointment or when you're beating yourself up about something. You don't need permission to be here. You belong. If you forget that, pause, tap into, pause, tap into Kunzite's pink charismatic vibration and let love rule. Open your love channel. In Canvas Sites, is expand your consciousness. So relationships may be changing. It may be work relationships, um, right? Because they may just not be serving you anymore. Got paradise, paradox at the bottom. Magnetize your motivation, right? So relationships may be changing for you. This could be love relationships, um, but it feels strongly like it has to do with work, um, people who you work with, work it is that you've been doing up until this point in time and maybe seeing that it, it's kind of paid its dues, you've paid your dues too and it's time to move on to do something different. Um, you may also be connecting with somebody uh, in regards to um, building this, this something new. Could be just a new relationship, but more than anything, you are when you are expressing yourself, it's from the heart, right? It's from the truth of who it is that you are. Yeah. Self-love. So it's time to love yourself for who it is that you are. See the wholeness, the fullness of everything that you are. It says I openly embrace the feeling of self-love, the PG kind. My love. I love myself because I understand myself. I love myself as the most committed partner I will ever have. I show myself love any way that I can. And when I screw up, I remember to be sweet and gentle with myself. If not, I'm going to make myself sleep on the couch. Got that, self? <laughs> so this may just be about loving yourself, right? And I was talking about that earlier. Um, Seeing yourself for who it is that you truly are, accepting yourself for who it is that you truly are, you know, and, and not um, rendering to that. Like, if you have been in this space of uh, trying to run away from that or trying to avoid facing that, being in that, being you, <laughs> it, uh, the change is, is here. All right, the sun has is out and it's illuminating everything in the dark. Perspective, yep, your perspective is changing. You're seeing things in a new light, in a different way. But this is about this card in particular is about seeing the forest for the trees, especially in your relationships. It says, "What does the hawk see when it flies over your house? Besides the family of mice living nearby that you don't know about." What will your current problems, conflicts, complaints look like when you're 80 years old and you gaze back on the timeline of your life? In this moment, you are being given the gift of clear perspective, of knowing that in the end, everything is going to be probably much better than okay. Think large enough and even big issues become small. Become an 80-year-old hawk and you're really on to something. So that is also, that in itself is about um, whatever it is that you're trying to make a problem out of uh, may not be as much as a problem as you are attempting to see it, right? Because it's honesty at the bottom. So what do you need to be truthful about, right? Whatever it is, people are going to respect you for it. It's just the need for you to stand up and say that and speak that and do that however that may be. What else is here for Aquarius Spirit? 
got Mars. So something's definitely moving. Things are being revealed to you, coming to your, your foresight. And this is about you. This is about you. All right. So you are, are shifting um, how it is that you're moving, your inspirations, your passion, what, what drives you, basically. Right, that that is changing <laughs> significantly. It seems um, it, it's like you are um, in this space of your perception is just changing, but this is coming through an aspect of revelation. Um, in in this perspective, in this shift of clearing the fog, this light illuminating these aspects of yourself. It is encouraging you to move forward in, an, in a different way, in a freer way, in a place from your soul, who it is that you are, who you incarnated in this world as, okay? <laughs> because that is unchangeable. No matter what happens to us, we get to healing and realize like, oh, that I've always been this. This has always been me, you know, so... Let's see what else is here for my intellectual Aquariuses, my fun-loving, vibrant Aquariuses. What is here for them, Spirit? Okay, we got Mars again. This is Aries. This is two of of Scarab. So this is about what it is that you're creating and finding balance in that. This can also speak to any type of dualities it is that you need to bring together so that you can express yourself fully, right? Um, and this is about your rulership, owning who it is that you are and living up to that, right? And, and trailblazing on your path. Um, and this is coming out under, under the third house and the ancestors. So you are expressing, in a sense, the truth of yourself, the truth of who you are. Hmm. Being very honest about that. I'm getting something about your sexuality. <clears throat> That's interesting. Let's see. So... It says Aries, Mars, Asar, first house, ram, fire, cardinal, active, spring, equinox, aspirations, hopes, initiative, head of brain, matter supreme over spirit, planet of energy, assertiveness, the emperor, leadership, wisdom, experience, and authority. And so this is also about what it is that you have manifested again into your world, recognizing that you are the creator of that and moving forward in that space, moving, flowing in that, being in that, stepping up and being the leader that your life needs so that you can provide yourself with the structure it is that you need as well um, in regards to what it is that you are desiring in your life, in your world. What do you dream of? What do you imagine? How do you feel? What, what kind of experiences do you want to have in life? And are you living up to that? Right, you're the only person who can say whether or not that's the case. So, let's see what else is here for Aquarius spirit. Your energy is feeling so mellow, so mellow, very internal. Like this morning, I got up and I put on all black. Like everything I have on is black, even my my undergarments. <laughs> And it was just, hey, I'm putting this on today kind of thing. It wasn't, um, I didn't have a real reason. It was just what I was drawn to, you know, but also just feeling very, very calm. You're trying to, oh, okay. Your desire is to get order and structure in your reality. And through this, it's going to take a change in perception a uh, clearing of the illusions of how you think a thing should be going when they it, you, you we don't really have to there's not much that we really need to be doing right but propaganda 
will lead us to believe otherwise. But at the same time, Aquarius, like y'all like big things. Y'all like grand things. Y'all like things to be long lasting and long term. Y'all want to make sure that it's forever so that you can retire comfortably. <laughs> okay. And you are figuring that out. But it, it's about you. It's all about you. And also the people who you choose to have around you as well. All right. So if, if it has to do the luck it is that you've drawn, that you've had up until this point, like how things have been manifesting for you because the broken glass came out, that's changing. It's the eight of pentacles. You're working on self-mastery. You may be changing who it is that you connect with. Your friendships are changing too. And that's necessary out of um, manifesting what you want. I, brought, I have to pull another card though. So then we have here is the rose. So you may be receiving some offers. Um, this may be work offers. This may be uh, love offers. You may be offering love to someone else. Okay. I want to say stay out your head as best as you can. You're Aquarius. I know y'all like to think everything through. But um, yeah. Something, something is going to be coming up that is going to require much courage for you, from you, much strength, right? But so it's like, it's going to, um, it's going to take for you to be courageous and stepping up and being honest about who it is that you are and what you, what you're going to sacrifice yourself for. What are you willing to surrender to? What are you willing to sacrifice? How do you want the structure to run in your life? What are you trying to create? What kind of life you want? All right. Take care of your health as well this summer, especially in regards to inflammation, inflammatory things, right? So the lungs, the, the skin, um, shit, anything, organs inflamed too, all right? So um, just take care in regards to that. Drink you, to stay cool this summer, drink you a lot of water, all right? A lot of water, be near the water, stay calm, stay relaxed, anything that's gonna spark any kind of anger, within you, take some time to step away from that so you can see what it is, so you can process it and move on because it, it, that, that type of thing can probably cause you some type of health issues. And so here we have the ever unfolding rose and it says um, cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. So some changes again within your life, right? They may be a little bit difficult, but through suffering, <laughs> through hardship comes a valuable lesson, right? Moving on may be more difficult than you thought it was, no matter from what that may be, whether it's from a relationship that you've been holding on with yourself, or this is a relationship that you have been um, holding with others, or with work it is that you've been doing. And, you know, it's just really important that you focus on creating this dream it is that you want like really putting the effort and the movement towards it and, and in it don't sleep on yourself all this pisces energy do not sleep on yourself don't nothing come from a sleeper but a dream <laughs> oh gosh these quotes what's this support you got people around you you have support you got support from your ancestors um yeah and at the bottom here you got protection and it speaks about begin your life anew with strength grace and wonder so whatever changes it is that you've been considering this summer they are happening all right and if you just go ahead and do it it'll be easier you won't have so much all over the place kind of thing all right so you have support here let me see that support and support says your wisdom has kept you far away from danger so even these lessons 
right, that you, that have offered you these experiences, I should say, that have offered you the lessons that you needed to attain the wisdom it is that is necessary for you to go forward. It has, that has been a great support to you. So not only do, are you supporting yourself, even if you know this or not, um, you have other people supporting you as well. Maybe it's also just time to offer yourself a sense of love. Fill yourself with unconditional love. Stop beating yourself up about the past. Stop beating yourself up about the mistakes you made that cannot be changed. What is the point in continuing to, to talk about something that is gone, dead it, all right? Because anything other than that just perpetuates a reality that, that you clearly don't want. All right, so, but these, this is changing. It's, it may happen quickly. I feel like it's going to be quick. But once you start, it's, the, your reality, your outward reality is just going to look totally different. You know, so you are not a victim. You hold more power than you ever know. than you may ever come to fathom in this human experience, in this human understanding, I should say. But other people will see it in you and they will let you know and take that for what it is. And I hope that inspires you, Aquarius. Okay, I hope that you um, have the confidence and the strength to move forward in the way in which it is that's truly gonna serve you, okay? I'm gonna leave it here. I hope that this supports you. I hope that this blesses you in, in gives you something to move forward with through this summertime okay and yes I will see y'all in the fall y'all have a beautiful summer and don't be too hot now in all ways <laughs>